Legislators of West Nile region have come out to demand for recognition and government's reciprocation matching the region's support. Despite the appointment of Second Deputy Premier General Moses Ali, Investment Minister Evelyn Anite, State Minister for Urban Development Mario Obiga Kanya, for Northern Uganda, Grace Freedom Kuechunyi and State Minister for Education, Dr. Joyce Moriko, among others, the legislators still want more ministerial posts. The expectation of the people of West Nile was in the formation of the new government, we expected our cock, General Moses Ali, to be elevated to a higher position because he was the first deputy prime minister who performed diligently and it benefited this country, leader of business in parliament. We expected him elevated, but to the dismay of the people of West Nile, General Moses Ali was demoted. This comes shortly after the appointment of permanent secretaries and advisors to different ministries, departments and agencies. And if you look at the appointments of the permanent secretaries, as the Honorable Odomo Tho rightly said, West Nile at the size of almost Belgium had no one appointed there. When you look at state minister appointments, the appointments were done in a way that the region should be divided. Madi sub-region was slightly catered for, Aluru sub-region maybe was catered for, the greater rural, no single appointment was made. Districts from Madio Kolo, Arua City, Arua District, Maracha, not a single appointment. So this is a marginalization and we are not comfortable with this. Two, when you look at appointments of committees, chairpersons, and deputy committee chairpersons, which is again approved by the NRM SEC, the entire West Nile was totally marginalized. And you know, these appointments are in keeping with the constitutional uh, guidance of national objectives and the directive principles of the state. You know, all the regions have to be considered in these uh, appointments. I therefore, I therefore want to request the government to see that in the appointments of ambassadors, we would want to see sons and daughters of West Nile considered. This also comes at a time when social media platform recently published images of a makeshift mortuary tent purportedly in Terego district. However, Leku Joel, Terego West legislator, contends that such is the actual status of health services in that area that is petrifying. If you look at the health institutions, we think health institutions need to be improved. In some of our facilities, these SOPs cannot be implemented. There are no temperature screenings at the entrance to the health facilities because health facilities are not fenced and people access them in all directions. The space is not there for doing social distancing. We do not have enough supplies, the PPEs for health workers. Most of the health workers have not received their risk allowance. Though the Minister for Health said this is an ongoing thing, but we need to plan this comprehensively so that it is paid monthly. The health workers are the backbones for this response of COVID-19. Uh, we are soon drawing a conclusion that uh, maybe perhaps we are in the Congo. First and foremost, electricity. All regions in this country are connected to national grid. But when you look at West Nile, we are still on one record. Koboko North Member of Parliament, Dr. Musa Noah, wants government to interest itself in circumstances under which an ambulance went missing from Arua Hospital recently. Dr. Musa says there must have been connivance with the hospital. The legislators now want the Minister of Health and top officials in government to step up investigations into the matter, saying the police in the region and hospital administration could be playing hide and seek, and as such, they must be tasked to have the ambulance which was helping in the area recovered. From the reliable sources, from reliable sources, this ambulance, the root cause, where this ambulance is, is known. But the measures are not taken. We really, we really don't know what we can do because the ambulance itself has been helping our people a lot. West Nile sub-region 
has an estimated population of 3 million people in 12 districts, 40 MPs of whom two are in opposition and the rest are in a room. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.